have a special request again for um, commotion in the ocean and I just got a new microphone so I wanted to chew gum and read a story I'm getting some more story books this week the library is supposed to call me so I'm just waiting for them I'm going to be reading um, two special books so we're going to read this one because um, it's a really good book and I like how it talks about the ocean. So it's called Commotion in the Ocean by Andre Giles. Giles Andre. Commotion in the Ocean. There is a, com a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lies beneath this, that lives beneath the sea, swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There is the turtle and the big white polar bear. What well, you can see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks. Let's take a look and find out who's hiding there. So we have crabs. The crab likes walking sideways and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. We have turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. That's a really colorful page. You know, sometimes when you read a book for the second or third time, you actually find things or realize things in the book that you didn't realize before um same with movies if you guys have noticed that too let me know dolphins are my favorite sea creature the wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak it's not how do you do as i'd say to you it's more like click Whistle, squeak. And we have an angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. And then, next to the jellyfish. No, the angelfish, we have a jellyfish. The jellyfish are really interesting and they're beautiful but they sting and it hurts the jellyfish just loves to jiggle which other fish think fish think is quite dumb she knows that it's not all about useful but jiggling lots of good fun they look innocent but they gotta be careful with the jellyfish and you gotta be careful with the shark now, if a jellyfish stung a shark, I'm not sure. Sharks are powerful. I'm not even sure if they would feel it. No, that's a really interesting question. Let me know what you guys think. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my, jar my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Okay, so now we have swordfish. Um, last year I actually ate swordfish and um, it has a lot of protein, but you're not supposed to have a lot of it. Um, but it's really good. I love to chase after I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, 
I score a few on my sword. So I sword. And then we have the octopus. Yesterday when I went shopping, I saw that they had octopus there. I've never tried it. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. A stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, a stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him, his tail really stings. Yes, it does. But I think the jellyfish still hurts more than the stingray. Alright, so we have lobster here. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers into two. I don't think he would do it on purpose. I think it would be just an accident. Now we're going further into the deep sea. Miles below the surface where the water is dark and deep live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. And this is the blue whale. Blue whale's really big. There is no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100, and f 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that's as long as the whale. I know there's some crocodiles that are really long, but it's not as long as the whale. We're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is, is clean. We know it's not glamorous, but it's our favorite thing. Barnacles. A memory. Two water on top of the water. Lower it. So our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. Grumpy and proud, and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Now we have the penguin. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet so they're inside. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. like fun. Oh, okay, now we have polar bear. Deep out in the Arctic, the mommy polar bear snuggles up with all her children since it's very cold out there. But I think they have their furs pretty thick. What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some want to swim around with you. The dolphins, very friendly. And the lobsters, very fierce. But the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name other friends we've made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. Some more books. 
thinking to do an ASMR Christmas party. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something special and um, it'll be a lot of fun. 